This lesson, you will learn how to play Sixth Hour from Piano Adventures 2B. We are in the Piano Adventures 2B lesson book, and today we are starting unit three by talking about sixth. We're going to learn what a sixth is, and then we're going to learn a song called Sixth Hour. In the other levels that we've done in Piano Adventures, we first learned about steps. Steps move from one line to the very next space or one space to the very next line. They're also known as seconds. And then we learned about thirds. A third moves from a line to the next line or a space to the next space. Um, we also call them skips. In our level one book, we also learned about fourths, which like a second or a step, move from a line to a space or a space to a line. And we learned about fifths, which like a third, move from a line to a line or a space to a space. It's time for us to learn about a brand new interval. This one is called a sixth, and it's going to have the same characteristic that the other even number intervals do. It's going to move from a line to a space or a space to a line. There's just gonna be more distance covered in this interval. We're going to be missing or covering six whole positions on the staff instead of two or four. So in the keyboard, it looks like it's this far away from G to the next E. So if we started on F and we went up a six from here, we could count the keys. One, two, three, four, five, six. We would end right here on D. And we can also move down with a sixth. So we can start here on B and we can count down one, two, three, four, five, six, and down a sixth from a B is D. So sixth hour is a pretty short song that's going to focus only on playing sixth. So in the first line, we're going to be playing slow six that move at a half note speed. All of the intervals in the song which are blocked, which means that they are played with the notes at the same time instead of separated. So let's get started. The song begins with your right hand on middle C with your thumb and it's playing a fifth. So your other finger is gonna start on G. You play that and then your pinky is gonna stretch up one note and you're gonna play it with C and A. So that's a sixth. Then you're going to go back to a fifth and now it's your thumb's turn to go down. So you're on G and B, also a sixth. So those are the first two measures. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, begin. Fifth, up with your pinky, back to a fifth, down with your thumb. Now the left hand's gonna do the same thing one octave below. So we start with the fifth. We're gonna move the thumb up. Back to the fifth, drop the pinky. Let's try those together. So the whole first line, one, two, ready, begin. Fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth. Fifth, sixth. Now in the second line, we're going to be playing doubles. So we're going to be moving at quarter note speed and staccato instead of the slow half note speed. So it's the same move though. We're gonna play two fifths, then move our pinky and play two there, back to the fifth, and now move our thumb and play it there. Left hand also is gonna do the same thing. So thumb goes up and we're crescendoing here, back to a fifth, pinky goes down, and now both hands will play a root chord. Let's look at that second line and try to play it together. One, two, it starts with piano, go. 
fifth, pinky up, fifth, thumb down, move to the left hand, start the crescendo, fifth, pinky down, and forte with a root chord. We're going to play the whole song all the way through now. One, two, ready, begin. Fifth, sixth, fifth, thumb down, sixth, left hand, fifth, thumb up, thumb down, pinky drops, doubles, piano, up, down, start the crescendo, up, fifth, pinky down, and a chord, two, three, four. Now you know everything you need to know to play sixth hour. As you practice it three times a day this week, please focus on one of these different points for each practice. And as a bonus, can you memorize this one? Good luck.